Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today we're going to talk about Quick Connect ID and also how to port forward and uh, set up your firewall so that you can access your disk station right from the internet from a remote location. Now, I wanted to do a video about VPN uh, server, but in order to do that, I kind of have to show you how to set up, um, you know, to get to your disk station from a remote location and also how to set it up so that it's so quick and easy and Synology has made this the easy process uh, so after here we're gonna I installed the 5.0 disk station manager and it's gonna be done in about a couple of seconds and then we'll go log in to our disk station that is brand new it's just like if you were to pull it out of a box and turn it on for the first time. So we boot into our login screen for the disk station and by default it's admin and it has user as the password but we're going to create our own password and we're going to sign in for the first time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple of steps. Now this is a disk station 414 and we're going to connect. Now they ask you in 5.0 to add, to start a MyDS account. Now, MyDS account is simply just a way to register your product, the serial number, and to register your Quick Connect ID. Now, I've done one in the past, so it's listed here, uh, right here on the page on MyDS. So let's go back. Uh, you can go ahead and create that. Put a email, uh, create a user, uh, a password, and then create a quick connect ID basically I'm not going to do that because I already did it and if I do it again it will say I, it already exists but you can go ahead and do it now I can also use my DS account and register a new product so that you have two uh, so you have two uh, Synology disk stations or you could basically just skip the step because you already know what it is and you already have an account so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it up now it's telling you that it's checking the volumes you know I just installed it so let it do its thing and then basically it's going to give you some information let's close that out so basically now they're gonna open up the package center that's their app store and you're gonna to agree to the terms now you can download download station audio station video station and photo station that's the recommended apps and when you go ahead and do that when you open up file station you'll have a folder uh, for each audio video and photos I recommend creating a shared download folder so that if you start using download station like in my video uh, video number four uh, talks about setting up your download station in order to download torrents and uh, NZBs and uh, URL uh, linked uh, content from the web but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip forward uh, and show you how to do your quick connect ID and what it is all about so here in control panel there's quick connect and then there's also in one of the apps it says easy internet and we're gonna go over that too and that's how you get through your firewall and set up your port forwarding but let's now first concentrate on our quick connect ID so we want to enable a quick connect ID otherwise they would give you some sort of generic numbers that you would have to try to remember uh, from a remote desktop or, or an iPhone or Android app. Uh, it's just so much easier just to put in information uh, that you, you know, is familiar to you so that you can connect right to it. So I have my cap locks on. Remember, it's case sensitive. And I'm just going to put the one I already created. Uh, in a previous installation of 5.0 and I'm going to use my account and my password that I set up for my DS account and we're going to connect right at there and now mine is going to say you already have one to a disk station uh, do you want to create it for this disk station yes because this is the same disk station if it was a second to station then I would do something different so now it registered it 
and what's going to do now is it's going to create a link for you uh, that you can save to your desktop you can write down and put it on a piece of paper uh, but basically the link that you're going to get here is going to be the way to quickly connect to your DS screen this screen here and then you have your quick connect ID that you could plug into your mobile devices so that you can easily get access to your disk station so we did that now let's go in to that app and click here and we're gonna go into easy internet Now, easy internet it tells you that it's gonna configure your internet connection your router port forwarding your disk station firewall and your disk station DDNS service so let's do that we'll hit next now you can either do it directly from your router to the I mean, directly from your disk station right to the internet or you can go through your router like a pass-through sort of thing all right so we hit next it's basically gonna get, say that you have it all the information here um, only select this option if you your router supports PPPOE pass-through so we're gonna just leave that blank and we're gonna because I'm not sure if my router does it now it's automatically gonna f check my router it's gonna see what kind of router it is it's gonna pull it up from the list of routers that Synology has plugged into their firmware here and we're gonna be able to go and configure our router right from the disk station manager so it's reading system configurations seeing what we have set there whether we have a static or a um, you know what kind of connection we have so now it found my router and or if not you could select from the list that they give you and now you could set up all of these services and I'll show you these services so basically we're setting up our file station but you can click on all the other things you can always come back to this and you could set up all different types of services that you want for your Synology so let's just go with the simple one and we are going to now um, we could register a host name and all that stuff but we're just gonna skip that and we're gonna go on and through our router and it's gonna work for web station photo station web mail uh, and all these other stations uh, apps so we'll click apply and now it's gonna port forward and basically this is as simple as it looks uh, you just click through and that's it you have port forwarded your disk station so let's go into file stations saying that we have no shared folders because we didn't install any apps but basically you can create a shared folder now D download station doesn't create a downloads folder and I think it's better if whatever you're downloading from the internet is that you download it download it into a downloads folder okay and then we'll hit OK and we created a new shared folder we're gonna allow read write to admin that's who we are when we signed in and now you have a downloads folder there so you can start throwing downloads in there and uh, now let's go over to our package center and we'll go ahead and install all of these recommended apps because of course we're gonna use our Synology for multimedia and we're going to use it also for a VPN server, which I plan on making the next video, uh, so that you can save money on, um, you know, using a VPN service. So you have privacy, and also you can, uh, if you're in a Wi-Fi that doesn't allow you to connect to certain sites, you'll be able to pass right through that uh, because they'll think that you're going to just connect to your Synology. So basically, we have those four apps installed and I'm only showing you this because you know it's part of the steps but basically we created a quick connect ID in which you could just click on the link and now it'll just take you right to your sign in page which is pretty sweet
So inter external access, we did router configuration. And we could see our shared folders now, download, music, photos, and videos. So now that we got all that installed, it is so easy now just to connect right to our disk station. Doesn't look like we did much, but I can go on to any browser and basically put in our shortcut there for a quick connect and it easily will get right onto your disk station. So stay tuned, there's more to come. We'll talk about setting up a VPN server and also some iOS apps that are made from Synology or even ones that are made from third party. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.